My team first today with the OG D5. Game tied in overtime. That's it's right. Glenn Rice. Passing up the three. Hits the mid-range. Oh, yeah! Defender pulls back. So the shooter stepped in sideways. Wise choice in the clutch. Well done, Glenn Rice. In the Vipers' territory with 202 Gaming. Gets two straight steals that result in dunks. First, uses the glove to sink one from above. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to our Saturday afternoon edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard was recognized as one of the NBA's 75 greatest. Coach Ty Lue says to go from being a 15th pick to that means a lot. It's a tribute to his hard work and dedication. And Leonard credits that work ethic to his dad. He says, I try to play as hard as I can each night. That's what my father wanted me to do. Kevin? What a worker Kawhi is. Terrific player. And a great story, David. Thanks. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. The guard pair, the talented Young and Murray. Front court spots filled by Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the five down low. And for the Clippers, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. For the Clippers organization, GA, what do you think the goal is? It's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the Finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. Jackson against Young. To the inside. And Capella with the basket on the assist from Young. Scoring is one thing, but Young's ability to set his teammates up just as important. On the wing, Jackson defended by Young. Jackson passes to George. Knocked away. Fades away. Hunter grabs the miss. Over to the left wing. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young looking around. Six on the shot clock. Capella. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. The three from George. Rebound by the Hawks. Last time they met was in Los Angeles where they beat the Clippers. And it's just never easy to get stops in this league. But they had a smart game plan defensively. And I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here's George. 35 points for him last game against San Antonio. Well, the defense wasn't ready for Jackson to pull that quick one. Outside Cowan. Hunter kicks to Murray. Pass to Collins. Here's Hunter. The shot, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's Jackson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Count it good. Young. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Jackson kicks to George. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. 
First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Down to five on the shot clock. Well, so far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. Murray, the pass to Young. Collins with it. Now, Hunter. Good work defensively by Morris. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Here's Leonard. That one off the back iron and out. Atlanta leading by three. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Hunter. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And that one's good. George. Defense is pretty close to Paul George, but not close enough as he powers right past him. Murray with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Murray, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. They now take the lead. And good recognition from Reggie, open teammate. Passes it to Hunter. Now here's Murray. Nailed from three-point land. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. L.A. has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Back to Jackson. Inside. Here's Morris. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Morris has got his second basket of the game. And now, Greg, that we're into the meat of the season, are you seeing any emerging trends out there? For a few years, uh, the trend had been guys shooting from farther and farther out. But, Kevin, I think we're seeing a return of the big man, a, a more concerted effort to attack the interior. And he comes up with the deuce. Toughness inside from Trey. Outside, George. Pass to Leonard. Back to George. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here is Young. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And, and, you know, he was getting fouled time and time again and really delivered at the free throw line. Huge contribution there, guys. Here's Hunter. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shoots over Leonard. Hunter, no good. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and try to find a way to get on the board. You know Jackson can just fly. I mean, that athleticism and energy is off the charts. Here's Murray with the putback, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. Now, here is George. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. Now, here's Hunter. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. From deep, George doesn't get it to drop for him. And Atlanta will come the other way. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And, and you've got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. And the way Trey Young, GA, is the focus of this offense, the numbers j just pile up. Yeah, I mean, they run so much through him. His usage rate is off the charts. Led the entire league in total points and total assists in 2022. And that hadn't been done in 49 years. That's good from Young. Fair or not, as long as Trey Young is in the NBA, he will be connected to Luka Doncic. And that night back in 2018 during the draft where those two guys swapped teams. And the Clippers with a whole new lineup now. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. 
Okongwu is checked in for Capella. Johnson comes in for Collins. Griffin's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. In that 2018 draft, Brent, the Doncic-Young swap was a huge deal. Yeah, so the two will be compared, and I think that's been a great deal for each team. You've seen the growth. You've seen them in the playoff. You've seen the kind of excitement level that they brought to the fans, and both have been all-stars. So Luka and Trey, both spectacular offensive players, and they both are carrying the load. And there's the pass to Okonwu. Down low. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Okonwu is a young guy, Brent, who is still polishing his craft. But on a permanent basis, he's been extremely effective. Just some great flashes last year from Onyeka, who shoots a very high percentage. He helps you in a lot of ways. He rebounds, he protects the rim, he's quick off the floor. And he really can slide his feet out on the perimeter. So sky's the limit still for this young big. And that one falls for Okongwu. And this offensive system, Brent, that the Hawks run, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yeah, lots of dribble handoffs at the top of the key. You obviously have the... In case of emergency, break glass player in Trey Young. But uh, they're not afraid to attack mismatches, and this is the type of offenses that I think a lot of players would enjoy playing. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. AGA, what about these Hawks? They can really be fun to watch. Yeah, and they just need to be more consistent, Kevin. It seems they can beat anyone on any day. If they can start doing that regularly, they're talking about big things in the future. Powell, that's good. Powell with a little teardrop action that time. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. Pass to Johnson. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. The three. And it's rebounded by Covington. The Clippers trail. Passes to Mann. Powell in the high post. Griffin's there. Mann passes to Kennard. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Griffin looking it over. They get a hand on it to the middle. Here's Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue. But that's going to change soon. by four the Clippers broke ground on their new arena set to open in Inglewood in 2024 I, I've seen the footprint you fly right into LAX and you see it every time it's going to be beautiful and that'll be huge for the Clips and they're trying to create their own identity in Southern California having a venue just for the Clippers will help and here's Young after the three-pointer from Norman Powell shoots Young, no good. Now he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Man passes to Kennard. 
and no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Atlanta's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Young. That one a little long. Los Angeles has gone two or five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Kennard's shot is off. Hawk shooting looking a little out of sorts early. 37%. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's Okongwu. That one doesn't go. Good D by Covington. 125 left in the first. Now, here's Kennard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shot clock at three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. The Hawks leading. Pulls up. And Young with the basket on the assist by Griffin. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Pass to Kennard. Launches it. It's good from long range. Kennard's got the game tied up here for the Clippers. And you love that. That's one of the strengths of Luke Kennard's game. Bogdanovich against Powell. Johnson, that's for two. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. Here's Mann. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And Kennard, well-schooled, just keeping his eyes up and making that play. Young outside. He kicks it to Okongwu. Here's Bogdanovich for three. No good that time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Los Angeles on top, up two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers, guys. Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. The Clippers in the lead. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Batum is out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Jackson in a point. That's who's out there for the Clippers. A three from Morris. Rebound by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got rebound number five here tonight. Murray kicks to Bogdanovich. Jackson against Murray. Over Jackson. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. The Clippers shooting well. They're at 45%. The pass to George. Pass to Leonard, beyond the arc. That falls, nice speed that time from George. George has got three assists in the game. Murray, the pass to Hunter. Now, Collins. Pass to Hunter. Shot clock at six. They grab their own. Oh, yes, sir. And some of the dunks Collins can pull off are just awesome. And a look at the Mobile One Drive. Driving right into your living room. And that's a thing of beauty. Certain plays, almost no words. You just sit back and appreciate it. Pulls it from 20. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Hunter for three. I see that time from Leonard. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Now here's Jackson. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Hunter with it. Guarded now by Jackson. 
Murray outside. Hunter on the wing. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Oh, man, still a goose egg for him in the scoring column. Jackson gets the bucket. Good work down low from the 6-2 Reggie Jackson. Not bashful. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Pass to Hunter. Here's Okongwu, defended by Batum. Bogdanovich looking around. And finished off by Collins. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. And the Clippers call time here. Brent, do you think shooting has improved over the years, or are there just more good shooters on the floor? Well, Kevin, if you had a bubble, I'd be bursting it right now because if you look back over the last 10 years, maybe go 20 years, shooting has not changed. Percentages have not changed, both from two-point land, three-point land, free-throw line. It's not that there are more good shooters in the league. There's just more surprises as to who it is you see taking the shots. some changes here. Clint Capella comes in for Okongwu. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Now here's Leonard. He picked up 27 points in the last one against San Antonio. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Here's Hunter. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. The pass to Leonard. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. George has got four assists in the game. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Collins. Here's Capella. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Collins against Morris. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. The Hawks trail by four. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now, some people call John Collins John the Baptist for how he dunks over defenders. He says, the game is slowing down for me. I'm able to see my spots. I want to continue to build on that and be looked at as a pillar, a guy that can be counted upon. Kevin, it seems, he's hungry for more. He's a big-time dunker, that's for sure, looking to reach his full potential. David, thanks. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. Clippers leading by six. Pass to Zubat. A 15-footer. Here's Leonard. Hunter with some nice defense. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Holiday. 
The shot, no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. Yeah, that's some foul. physical defense First against Morris, who attacks with one at of his many moves. And we'll just see Marcus what he does Morris here senior. at the line. At the line and let's two. quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Clippers. Uh, they look to fire Take as much as possible from Two outside shots. the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Now getting to the inside is really important, but... It's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. The first one falls. And you just look at what Marcus Morris has done in his career. Well, such a solid forward in the game right now, averaging over double digits in the last eight years. But it's been that expansion and the fact that he can step behind the three-point line and be as deadly as he's been the past couple seasons. It's been a remarkable, consistent offensive production for his career. And now the first timeout call here for the Hawks. Brent, looking back, the Clippers have really put things together over the last decade. They have. Injuries have been a factor the past couple seasons, so they haven't competed at the level certainly that their owner wants to, but trying to keep this core group of guys together. And, uh, if they do that and they get help, there's a lot of talent there and a lot of guys who've done it on the biggest of stages. Jackson. Murray, the pass to Collins. On the wing, Holiday. Six to shoot. And finish off by Collins. Agility coming into play there as Collins moves so well and so quickly in those pick and roll sets. Passes it to Leonard. And here is Morris. That shot misses. Collins with some nice D. Holiday, the pass to Hunter. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Assisted by. Now just Justin a four-point Los Angeles lead. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. Zubox trying to break loose. Jackson misses. Hawks have gone six of fourteen shooting here in the second. Murray scanning the floor over Jackson another shot it's hauled in by Los Angeles on the wing George and again it's the Clippers missing not his best night from the field but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in count that one Murray's got five now they're getting on a roll inside their last three field goals have come from the paint Outside, George. Pass to Leonard. There's the three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Holiday against George. Fires the three. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got his first three points of the game. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Back to Jackson to stop the drought. Rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Hunter against Leonard. 
Kicks it out to Collins. Hunter, the pass to Collins. Out to the wing. Here's Murray. Again, the Hawks. Good for two. Big man John Collins seeing the court that time. Clippers trail by three. And the Clippers, Clippers call time here. And Collins has shown to be a game changer on the... Some changes. Andrew Covington checked in for Marcus Morris. Norman Powell comes in for Leonard. Mann subbed in for Jackson. And then for Atlanta. Johnson, he's checked in for Hunter. Griffin comes in for Justin Holliday. Young is subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Now, here's George. Powell for three. Atlanta with the rebound. Capella's got nine rebounds now tonight. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Yeah, that's where John Collins sets up shop down in the paint, quick and athletic, able to corral the miss. Here's Paul. He picked up 15 points in their last win against San Antonio. George looking around, shot clock at five, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when you look at Paul George, I mean, he's been in the middle of a couple monster trades. Well, Paul in exchange for two future All-Stars in Sabonis and Oladipo uh, Take going a break. to Indy. Take a break. And then that massive trade to L.A., the Thunder got SGA and a boatload of picks. It just shows you how much value Paul George has, and trust me, he's very much valued by the team he's on. He's real good, Paul George. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Zubox. And both free throws, good for Paul George. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. Yeah, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive ability. And the dunk by Capella. Now I'd draw that one up again. Throw it up, Capella jump, you slam it through. That's an easy tip. Outside, George. To the paint. Batum passes to Mann. Batum trying to break loose. Off with the layup. The Hawks leading by five. Two minutes remaining. Outside Griffin. Two minutes. Right side Collins. Capella. Great positioning on the putback. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. The pass to Pop. Here's George. Off target with his three. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Powell against Griffin. The offensive rebound. The shot by Johnson, no good. Clippers trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Man gets the bucket. That's a testament to the effort here on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Now here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's 
Chris Collins. And Jen Shot makes that one his sixth of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pass to Powell. Kicks it to George. Back to Powell. That falls nice no, that no, time no. from George. George has got six assists in the game. The Hawks leading by five. Passes it to Griffin. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by George. Stolen by George. There's 14 seconds left in the first half. Looking to end his cold spell. It's good. Now it's just a three-point Atlanta lead. You know, I always talk about the first two steps in transition and Paul George out quick and decisively that time. And so it's John Collins making highlights for Atlanta. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that corner. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are finding me. I think I'm doing a good job of trying to, you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard, uh, and being an athlete above the rim. And I think, like I said, my teammates are finding me. I'm doing a good job of finishing. You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. There was no stopping John Collins in the first half. He had 12 points, 10 rebounds, and one assist. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Hawks? Love to see a team grind for those offensive boards. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this stage. And over to Shaq, now your take on the Clippers. Their unselfishness has kept them in the game. Just look at the assist numbers. Guys are making cuts. They move the ball free. Look to see the offense function like a weld oil machine. Sort of like myself. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. John Collins has been sensational. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And on the floor for Nate McMillan starting the second half. Collins and Capella man the post position. Murray is the shooting guard. Hunter the small forward. And it's Young in at the point. They get it again. Sure. Good work defensively by Capella. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. It's a three-point game. Puts it up from 12. It's held in by Zubats. And here are the Clippers now. Jackson dishes to George. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. The Hawks leading by three. And here's Young. Plays it up and banks it in. Young's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Atlanta. Ooh, that's a sly little play as Trey Young gets inside and slips past the D. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Outside, George. Here's Zubats. Collins grabs the miss. 
Collins has got 11 rebounds in the game. Murray kicks to Hunter. Young outside. Just five on the clock. And good that time. Young's got the lead up to seven now for the Hawks. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Back to Jackson. Pass to Leonard. Plenty of space. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. Lob pass to Capella. The alley play up very well done. And the Hawks lead by seven. Right now, Capella feeling it, creating a lot of offensive opportunities for this team now. Outside, George. Jackson from long range. They get it back. And the dunk by Zubac. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. Jackson misses. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Well, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Here's Young. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Leonard, and it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Now the pass to Hunter. That three off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Amazing the way Kawhi Leonard has evolved throughout his career. Well, in the early part of his career, playing in San Antonio, defense was his calling card. You could even argue that his offense has gotten better than his defense, which is simply remarkable. One of the top all-around players in the NBA. First one falls for him. Well, we've seen teams go all in to acquire Kawhi Leonard. Easy to see why. He just changes the course of a franchise. Any team he's on legitimately has a chance to win a title. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Then for the Hawks, Okongwu's checked in for Capella. And it's Bogdanovich in for Collins. Leonard hits them both. Young with the ball. 14 points for him. Murray outside. Looking to get it going. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And it's the vote of Murray as a distributor has really proved to be a great point guard. There were questions about that early in his career. And the first one at the line is good. And Greg, you can see it. Murray has really improved his passing. It has a great sense of the court and spacing. Reads defense as well and can direct his teammates. Could see him being an elite passer in no time. And so Murray nails both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Here's Jackson. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. And it's nine points for Reggie Jackson. 
not sure when Kawhi saw him, but the fact is he did, and he delivered. It was a great pass. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely, and it takes an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And it's Leonard missing. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Pass to Hunter. From 11 feet away, and Atlanta again with the bucket. Well, defensively, they've been flat in this second half. A very different type of team than we saw in the first. Hunter kicks to Kanaan. Five to shoot. And no good that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Bogdanovich inside. He's against Morris. Good work defensively by Morris. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. Los Angeles with another miss. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best he's option offensively as they try to get back in this game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here is Morris. He's got six. Bogdanovich against Leonard to the inside. Young. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Clippers trail by nine. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, you appreciate Zubats' focus on close-range looks as a big man. Well, Zubat's one of those big centers that's burly and tough and rugged on the inside. While other bigs are searching that three-point line out, Zubat's looking to get deep into the paint. When you look at his shooting percentages over the past couple seasons, up around 60%. That's good shot selection and great consistency. First free throw is good. A different look for the Clippers. Batum comes in for Ivica Zubats. And it's Powell in for Marcus Morris. Johnson, he's checked in for Atlanta. Justin Holliday comes in for Murray. And he makes both free throws. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by the Clippers. But Toombs got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Bogdanovich. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Tipped away. Batum with the steal. Jackson against Young. Nobody near Leonard. Rebound by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got seven rebounds in the game. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Offensive rebound. Pass to Powell. Holiday against Kinnor. Lock at six. Moves back up. Here's Leonard. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Hawks? They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. Free throw, good, Holiday. And guys, Justin Holiday has been a journeyman, but he had a solid decade in this league. If you stay in the NBA for a decade, that's saying something both about your work ethic and the fact that you're a great teammate. Justin Holiday, a consistent shooter, good from the free throw line, and obviously a true professional. Both free throws good from Holiday. 
And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Los Angeles calls timeout. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Here's Batum. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, Batum, not a ton of times where he's on the inside, but that time showing some toughness. Pass to Holiday. Young outside. The Hawks again can't hit. Clippers trail by seven. Here's Mann. Taking a look at the scoring numbers, right now he averages about nine points a game. It's Powell on the wing. Just five to shoot. There's the pass to Mann. Takes a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Mann's got seven points in the game. And he got a good look at the hands of Covington. Outside Holiday. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Now here's Paul. Seven points in the game. Here's Mann. Great D that time from Griffin. The Hawks leading by four on the wing, Johnson. Second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Jalen Johnson. Don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Pass to Powell. Back to Kennard. Right side, Batum. Off target from outside. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Okonwu slams it in. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now, here's Kanon. Powell, no one around him. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Holiday, the pass to Young. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Now, Okonwu, Kanon covering the shot by Okonwu, no good. Clippers trail by eight. Here's Mann. He's off on that one. Good defensive work there by Young. Here's Griffin. Yes, Griffin. and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists in the game. Passes it to Powell. Batum with the ball. Now, Kennard. It's Powell on the wing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Jalen Johnson. Now the Clippers trading last season for Norman Powell. And uh, as they say, Greg, the rich get richer. Yeah, an excellent two-way player. Uh, their wing depth becoming the envy of the league. And, and he's just coming into his prime. So he fits the timeline of their star.
and the first one drops. An efficient score. Norman Powell can fill it up when given the opportunity. And he does score from anywhere on the floor, but it's defensive versatility that I think really helps him because he can match up with smaller guards. He can get underneath bigger wings, and that defense really allows him to stay on the floor to complement the other offensive players that are producing. Yeah, can't sleep on Powell defensively. He will step up and start to pour it in. Johnson against George. Johnson dishes to Griffin. Young outside, 14 feet away. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Now, here's George. He's got 10. Capella trying to free himself up. Tries again. That one misses. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. 29 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Young, no good. Clippers trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. A nice shot by George. George has got 12 points in the game. So good, so experienced. Paul George can convert the toughest of buckets. High arcing shot. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. Scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm -hmm. on the put -back stop. Now, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And so it's Atlanta. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. And it's Jackson in at the one spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Now here's Murray. Outside, Bogdanovich. Another three for Atlanta. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Leonard, the pass to Jackson. Down low, here's George, and it's George finishing it off. Paul George getting aggressive, showing us some power that time as he's able to get to the rim. Murray kicks to Collins. Bob pass to Capella. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. On the wing, George. He's covered by Bogdanovich. George passes to Leonard. Over Murray. It's good, and the Hawks lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. Lots of throwback stuff to Kawhi's game as he's just feasting now in the mid-range. Hunter, the pass to Bogdanovich. To the left side wing. Here's Murray. Morris with the rebound. So it's Jackson who brings it up for the Clippers. Inside, Zubats, and the dunk by Zubats. You know, Reggie Jackson has had a few years in the NBA where he's averaged six or more assists, so he can't make plays. Pass to Bogdanovich. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Murray. It's good. And the Hawks lead by eight. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Now here's Leonard. Go, 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 go. 
And the pass to George. And it's off from three-point range. The Hawks leading by eight. Outside Bogdanovich. Murray kicks to Hunter. Over Jackson. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got rebound number eight now on the night. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Changing his quickly, he's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now, here's Collins. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got eight rebounds in this game. Leonard kicks to George. Pass to Jackson from downtown. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Leonard the pass to Morris. And a miss there on the triple. The Hawks leading by eight. And Murray, here we go. Hunter, no good. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for them. Atlanta's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Count that one. DeAndre and now a 10-point Hawks lead. Every basket from this kind of range is going to help Hunter's perimeter game. Doesn't worry about the defense. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now, here is George. Outside Leonard. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Here's Hunter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second Plain to see how eager Hunter is to work hard for his team. He gets that shot off and gets a trip to the line. Shooting two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And it seems the play-in tournament is here to stay, Brent. Has it worked out as well as you expected? I think it's been great, Kevin. Uh, one of the things that could be adjusted, though, is maybe if you're the eighth seed and you have a 10-game lead on the 10th seed, uh, there should be no reason why they should be competing in the postseason tournament. So maybe they do something with regards to the records as to whether or not a team qualifies. But the way it stands now, it's created the kind of drama and competition that the league has craved. And athletic forward with, with a personal skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. Offensive rebound, Zubox. And the dunk by Zubox. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over.
welcome to the floor, your Bumper Garrett. Guns check in for the Hawks. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. Well, Nate McMillan had some advice for the team during that last break. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Passes it to George. Jackson from long range. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Young's shot is off. Well, he's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Pass to Jackson. Now George. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. Well, height and length at that at position for Paul George, that's problematic for a defender, and he used his size to draw the foul that time. And he knocks down the first one. And you look at the massive hauls that have been received in the trades with Paul George. That should tell you how valuable PG is. And George drops them both. The Hawks leading by 10. And there's the pass to Murray. Hunter on the wing. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his third. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Second team foul. At the line now for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter. Two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Hunter. He hits both from the stripe. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Zubats. George dishes to Morris. Outside Leonard takes the three. Atlanta with the rebound. And here is Hunter. Outside for Murray. Left side, Collins. Back to Murray. Shoots from 14. That one rolling around and rims out. Clippers trail by 12. Here's George. Rebound by the Hawks. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. Feeds to Hunter. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Leonard. Jackson has the open look. And again, no good by the Clippers. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Young, no good. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Leonard with the bucket. It's a great touch from the swing man as Kawhi knows that he can capitalize from that area and he can get there anytime he wants. And Okongwu slams it in. Great game for him, double-double now. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Passes to Leonard. Here's Morris. He's guarded by Collins. Morris, no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Murray. George with the defensive effort. 
And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Los Angeles. Down by 12. Good defensive work there by Young. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Hunter kicks to Young. It's stolen by Morris. Right side, George. Over Murray. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Well, surveying the defense, and Paul George had enough room to get that one off. Young against Jackson. Young, no good. And that's an important rebound, and especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. George, double team. Pass to Morris. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Jackson. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Jackson. Jackson's got it back down to single digits for the Clippers. Atlanta calls timeout. Now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Trey Young. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Now, here is Young. Hunter with it, out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Here's Murray. Drops in the layup for two. Murray's got ten points here in the second half. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. That one's in there. The whole shoot is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Paul George. P.G. picking the right spot that time to pick up the offensive rebound. Now, here is Young. Now the pass to Hunter. Here's Murray. Second shot opportunity. And Okongwu finishes it off. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Now here's Jackson. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Not letting the defense knock him off balance. Reggie does a great job just being assertive. Pass to Collins. Pass to Hunter. to Murray. Over George. Again, the miss by Murray. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Yeah, Paul George sharpening his swords now. Love to see him take that shot. And he commits the intentional foul. Personal foul. Third team foul. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Hawks lead by eight. And the Clippers call time here. 
They're behind by eight. You know what 34 seconds is. left in the fourth quarter. Four seconds left in the game. Here's Morris. The shot comes out. Collins with some nice D. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by Zubat. And Greg, it looks like time is going to run out on him here. Yeah, I mean, unless they come up with an absolute miracle. Young outside. So it's Atlanta with the W. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA. This one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. I mean, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.